Hey there. Welcome to Conan O'Brien Needs a Friend. Joined by my crew. You guys are my crew. Hmm. Do we get a say in this? No, you don't. Okay. You're just my crew. We uh, we pull off bank heists on the weekend. Oh, now I'm in. Okay. <laughs> You're the guy in the van who knows Aww. everything about uh, software and okay. can open the vault. Oh, what, yeah. do I, what do I get to do? Oh, yeah. David Hopping is here You're as the well. You're yeah. the muscle. You're the muscle. Yeah. He, he, this is... <laughs> I'm really yeah. strong. Yeah. He said, lift, <laughs> lifting pages. Yes. Whenever we're th threatened by lots of security or something, you lift pages yeah. of an introduction Works script. every time. And toss it to the side. Um, what's happening in the world of our podcast? I understand there's been some some chat well, yeah. on the socials, and it, we need to address this. This is what I'm told. For instance, you'll notice that Sona isn't here today for the intro segment of this episode, but she will be for the interview. Yeah. And I think you were saying how we that can't happen. And I was saying the audience knows that we record sometimes different record parts things, at different times. Sometimes we record things uh, a little bit out of sync. Mostly we don't, but sometimes we do. And you said that this caused a uh, bit of a theory to emerge from someone on the yeah. internet. Who was telling me this? I don't remember who was telling me Doesn't this, matter. but I think it was Doesn't on Reddit matter. that there was a discussion going on about whether we change clothes to make it seem like we do everything linearly <laughs> and in real time. That uh -huh. The actual I love that. forethought of us bringing in costume changes. And now I love that anyone who listens to this podcast regularly <laughs> thinking that we would put that level of thought or right. preparation mm -hmm. and that we would think, wait a minute, this has to match. We're going to be chatting, but then we'll be talking to Kristen Wiig. So you have to put on your Oxford shirt that you were wearing then. And I have to put on my beekeepers outfit that we were wearing when we <laughs> talked to Kristen. No, no, because this is on YouTube and people can see. But the thing that cracks me up is most of the time you can see that we aren't wearing the same clothes. You know, it's fascinating. And so like David is here with us today but won't be for the interview and won't be for the third yeah. segment. I would like to point out, I don't do anything for the podcast, uh, but I do change my clothes multiple times a day. Uh, many, because I- Like I, an Elton John kind of? Have you yes. always yeah. done that? Yes, I, I, I have like nine different outfits and I have a guy named Scott Chronic who's upstairs and he's, and just for no reason, even when I'm just here, and basically doing clerical stuff. We're not even recording. We're not, I have as many as nine changes. Oh my God. Yeah, because wow. I, it's, I'm in show business. I see. You, you know, whatever. You could be I wouldn't camp. understand. You I wouldn't, wouldn't understand. No, I wouldn't. You, you know, you've, of course, I know you've been in podcasting for a long time, but you could be a camp counselor. And then you over uh, here, hey. uh, you know, you're not really in show business the way I am. I have to constantly be seen as an iconic entertainer. I have Bob Mackie outfits upstairs. <laughs> Every now and then, I'll go out to lunch next door and I'm just suddenly I'm wearing a glittery skirt and a feather boa. You change at lunch. Yeah. You got anything by Bot Me 500? Yes, I do. <laughs> okay. I, I should add that part of that theory was that they noticed that us back here, we wear the same clothes while you guys are wearing different Clothes. Is that right? Oh, but you oh, all did that happen? Right. So, they, so they were like, "Well, it must be because look, Adam's wearing the same thing, and Eduardo's wearing the same thing, and Blaze wearing the same thing, but they're wearing something different." So, so why like, are you guys always wearing the same stuff? Are you guys well, doing costume changes? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I mean, you should. Yeah. I, I wish I could afford more clothes. Oh, oh for oh, God's sake! What are you doing to poor Eduardo? Give, Give him, him a raise. raise. Give him a raise. Or fire him so he can get a better paying job. <laughs> fire him so he can get a better paying job. No That's one's the that one. Uh oh, here we go. Okay, here comes, here comes Adam, Adam is going to join the fray. By the way, wearing the same goddamn yeah, sweatshirt he wears true. every day. Oh my God. Are you like Mr. Rogers? You just have that hanging on a hook here at the studio and you put it on every time? Why are you wearing that same thing every day? Okay, first of all, I, <laughs> so I alternate between two hoodies that I keep in my office because it is freezing in the studio. And when I'm walking around the halls, so I'm you not... have two hoodies. Okay, Zuckerberg, that works for me. <laughs> and I wear them in here because it's really, really cold. And then I take them off when I get out. Uh -huh. But I was searching to try to find this Reddit thread, and I, I did find it here. Um, I don't know if you have a better reading voice than I do, but you can see what um, you have a wonderful. The Chill Chums record multiple intros a day and switch outfits to look like they recorded on different days. I was watching. The two intros today where Conan confronts Matt about the mall walking podcast. At the start of the second intro, Conan says, today I learned about Matt's podcast, implying that the two intros are filmed on the same day. However, by looking at the video, we see that there are outfits all changed while the crew remained the same. <laughs> My theory is that they probably record a lot of intros in a day, which is true. It wouldn't make sense 
of them to rec- only record 15 minutes a week plus the guest interview anyway. But I have funny. one guess. Yeah. That this fan believes 11 people shot Kennedy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's the kind of thinking that, that takes you down that road. Here's a peek behind the curtain. So, for instance, today, you're... You're probably listening to this. It's planned to go on the Kristen Wiig episode. Mm-hmm. But we're dressed in the same clothes if you watch the YouTube clip of the Melinda French Gates interview. Because yes. we did that interview today, but we recorded the intro for Chris, Kristen Wiig. <laughs> <laughs> and we know that this is today because this is the day you had the small stroke. <laughs> what do you mean by that? <laughs> uh, I also love the idea that we're doing this to commit the perfect murder. Yeah. That's what this <laughs> no leads me to, is down. that we are s- uh, shooting things out of sequence and changing outfits so that later on when someone says, oh my God, pick anyone yeah. in the, you know, mm-hmm. oh my, I'm sorry, David, it's gonna have to be it's you. Fine. But David's been murdered. Uh, <laughs> and we can say, hey, yeah. we, we that day, look, we have footage <laughs> of us. That was the day Melinda Gates came in or that was the day and we're off the hook. And there's some listener out there with a like bare apartment. And, yarn. Yes, co- red yarn and calendar dates and pictures of our costumes. Right. And it's happening, yeah. Mm-hmm. Don't you think though that like all the files have like dates and times? It's like if they if you really wanted to find my murderer, <laughs> no, they would be like, nah, they won't go say, that far. <laughs> yeah, can I just say, <laughs> David. They gave up David, so quick. <laughs> David, don't take this personally. I'm about to take it personally. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't. <laughs> But you're, they're going to bag you, tag you, <laughs> ship you back home, and there will not be much of an investigation. Oh, you know what I mean? Sure. Countless young people like you come to the big city. I will investigate. Your dreams Thank don't you. work out, your and then you're just pass. shipped home. Oh, yeah, true crime. David's uh, murder. Yeah. <laughs> somebody did say, did say, somebody did say. You the, had a stroke. Yeah, every, why <laughs> can't? Stroke hey, this are you the, okay, buddy? There's something in the air. Are you worried about <laughs> item tax? <laughs> The only thing that surprises me about this is that they change outfits for a mostly audio medium. So people are buying into this. Yeah, this it's not true. No, but I guess me saying it's not true only makes it. It stokes the conspiracy. It stokes the conspiracy yeah. theory. That's great, though. Let's let this conspiracy build and rise. Also, and goes. what I do applaud is people paying that much attention. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, I do appreciate that our fans are really paying attention. If we had uniforms, this wouldn't be a problem. That's right. Hey, we're supposed point. to get. I want uniforms, and I will pay for the uniforms if someone what? can make this happen. I was supposed to. Matt's going to design them. Designs? I want us to wear. Yeah. And and again, the inspiration for this came from uh, from Jack White mm-hmm. and Third Man Records, where you know J- Jack has everyone in his entourage wearing these cool outfits, and I'm like, that's what we need. Okay, we need everyone at Team Coco, Conoco, Con- whatever we call this thing now. I forget. There's so many entities uh, that uh, at Conan Inc. I want uh, everybody wearing a similar outfit, except for me, and I want to wear Admiral's epaulets. <laughs> Just Admiral's epaulets. Just <laughs> Admiral's <laughs> epaulets. <laughs> Let's just say. <laughs> okay. Next there, week we're not recording. I'll get on this. Good. We'll uh, oh, that's just. But why aren't we re- recording next week? Conspiracy theory. Oh, that's right. Because we don't have a costume. Because Conan's in the Pacific Northwest, <laughs> committing committing some insane crimes. Committing. Everyone's got it. Oh my god. Oh no. Catching. All right. All right. <laughs>